Hello guys I'm Razi and welcome to my channel TechStorm. This is the first part of Kind Master tutorial. This is a beginner's tutorial. Basically I think you all know that Kind Master is one of the best, or the best video editor, in mobile video editing. So we will be making a beginner's tutorial to get started in Kind Master. And in this tutorial we will be covering topics like interface, layers, text, audio, voiceovers, transitions, animations and some tips along the way. And comment below what type of tutorial would I make next. So let's jump into the video. So this is the Kind Master home screen. Here are the recent projects, I have worked on, I have done a test project, that's why it is there, you can select that and edit it. But for now I'm deleting it. Now it looks more like your kind master. Now for creating a new project, by tap on the circle in the center of the frame. Now you can select the aspect ratio. I'm selecting 16 is to 9 in landscape. So the first part is interface. And the first one is media browser. It is this big circle on the left. Using that you can import files and add effects. You can play the added file using this play button. The second one is timeline. Using that you can edit and add effects to your projects. The third one is preview plane. Using that you can preview that edits or effects you have added, using timeline and media browser. And the last one is in the right there are simple functions like undo redo, and some other things. Hope you got the basic interface. Now let's start editing. For that basically import the files by taping on media, now browse to your location. Then select the files you want to add. Now if you have added unwanted one, you can delete it by selecting it, and taping on the delete icon on the right. Now let's do some basic trimming. For trimming the video basically you want to select it, and drag the yellow thing. Now your clip will be trimmed. If you want to trim more precisely, you want to tap on the scissor icon on the left. And there are two options. Those will do exactly what they say. The first one will trim to left and the second one will trim to the right. It's that simple. Now if you want to remove a section from the middle, you want to tap on split at playhead, and then split the end also. Now you can select and delete the middle part. Now the middle part is trimmed off, and you can rearrange the videos by holding and dragging it to your liking. Now let's add some video as layer to our project, for adding layer you want to tap on the layer, in the media browser. Then select media. Now you want to select the file you want to import. You can make it bigger or smaller. And you can change the rotation. And change the location. And you will get the same trimming and splitting option on layer also. Now here is a tip for you. It is really hard to make the layer fit to screen. So for doing that, you want to go to split screen, and select the second option. Now it will fit to the screen perfectly. Now let's add an image. It is the same way. And you will get the same option also. Now let's add a text. For that tap on layer, then select text. Now type the text you want. Then tap OK. Now the text is added. Now I'm making it bigger, you will get the same controls in here also. You can change the font, by taping on the icon, and select the font you want. And tap on the tick mark on the top left. And you can change the font color by taping on this icon. And there are more feature in the bottom, like outline shadow and others. Now let's add a transition. For that tap on, in animation. I'm setting it as slide right. And you can change the speed with the slider in the bottom. You can also add an out animation also. I'm setting it as slide left. Now I'm decreasing the duration by trimming it. Now if I play the video you can see that there is some cool animations going on. You can add animations to all the layer. Now let's do it to the video. For that select the video. Then go to an animation. Now I'm setting it as pop. Now if I play the video you can see that there is a transition to the video. You can also rotate and mirror the video. Sorry I forgot about this. There are some basic controls. You can rotate to left, right, and mirror it. Now let's add some audio. 
For that tap on the audio on the media browser. Then tap on the audio you want to import, it will play the audio. And you can add it by taping on the plus icon. Now you will get the normal trimming and splitting options in audio. But they are at the bottom. Now you can see that it is a bit harder to navigate on the timeline. Now let's expand it by taping on this icon. Now you can see that the timeline is bigger. And there is a floating preview plane. In previous versions of KineMaster you want to tap on this icon to get the preview plane. And you can play the video by tapping on the icon just above it. You can also select the clips also. And you can tap on the icon once more to make it normal. Now let's change the volume of the clip. For that make sure that the clip is selected. Then tap on this icon. And we can change the volume in here. Now let's add a crop or zoom to our video. It is easy to do this on a layer. But what if you want to do this to the main video? For that firstly select the video. Then split it. Now tap on pan and zoom. Then tap on this icon. This will make it equal. Otherwise the start and end will be different. Now after zooming it. You want to tap on the tick icon on the top. Now if I play the video. Now you can see that there is a zoom effect in the video. Now let's add some transitions to the main video. For that tap on the plus icon on the middle. Then there are so many option to choose. For now I'm going to classic and adding a zoom transition. And you can change the speed of transition in the slider in the right. Now if I play the video, you can see that there is a transition to the video. Now if you tap on the setting, and go to video, then enable video fade in. And now if I play the video you can see that there is a fade in transition in the beginning. For adding voiceovers, you want to tap on the voice icon in the media browser. Then tap on start and say anything. Then tap on stop. Now you can see that there is a voiceover added to the project. Now we have a lot to cover in KineMaster. But this is a beginner's tutorial. So let's stop it here. Comment below if you want a advanced tutorial. Now for exporting this video. You want to tap on the icon the top left. And this video was on 1080p 30fps so it is set to default, but you can change it. And you can also change the bitrate also. Now you can export it as a mp4 by tapping on export on the bottom. Now the file is exporting. And the video will be saved on the gallery after exporting. So that's it for this video. I'm Razi here with a new video, and today I'm going to show you, 20 plus tips and tricks on KineMaster. So let's jump into the video. If you have a lot of file, I don't have so many file, but if I had, and if I use the same file often, I can add that file to favorite for quick access. You can add the file to favorite by holding on the file. And tap on the star button. And then if you go to the favorite folder, you can see that the file is there. For making the media browser full screen. You want to go to settings. Then scroll down, then enable the option called, media browser full screen mode then audio browser full screen mode. Now if I go back to my project, and then import a file, you can see that this is in full screen. This will make more sense if you have more files. And this will also work while importing audio as well. If you are adding so many effects and layers, it's harder to navigate KineMaster. But if you tap on the timeline button on the bottom left, you can see that the timeline is now full screen. So now I can navigate it faster. And if I tap on the button above it, I can see the preview. And I can set it anywhere. This is very useful if you are working with layers and effects a lot. And you can go back by taping on that same button. For pinning a layer. Tap on the button on the bottom left. If you pin a layer you can still drag and edit the file. So what will pin do? What it does is. You can see that the layer is pinned. And the layer is starting from one second. And if I import a clip, you can see that it's still starting from one second. But if I unpin it, and import the clip, you can see that the audio moved with the video. This is what pinning will do. 
you can use or not use it according to the situation. If you want to save a frame, and add it to your project. You can do that by taping on this icon on the left. Then select the option that is suitable for your situation. You can add it as a normal frame, or add it as a layer. You can also save it to gallery also. This is very useful for making thumbnails and stuffs. If you are making stories for Instagram or status for WhatsApp. And if you are working with small elements. You can make the preview plain full screen by taping on the icon on the bottom right. And you can set the elements very faster and correctly. This will not work if you are using a 16x9 template. But it will work for the other two. If you imported a clip and it's zooming in while playing. Go to pan and zoom. Then tap on the equal to button. So this will be similar. But if you double tap on the preview plane. The video will fit to screen. This is very useful. And maybe this will be the most used trick. If you want to fit screen to a layer. Tap on split screen. Then select the second one. This is also used a lot while editing. If the audio is out of sync. Or you want to edit the audio. You can extract the audio from video. By tapping on the clip and then select extract audio. So you can sync or edit the audio. You can also use the audio in anywhere else. In the project also, and you can use the upcoming audio tricks also on the extracted audio. Now if I drag the audio, you can see that the audio is not extending. But if you enabled loop, you can drag the audio to the length you like. There is no limit. And if you enable loop to end, you can loop to the end of the project. So if you increase the length of a project, the length of the audio will be also increased. And then if you enable duking, this will decrease the audio, when there is a voiceover. So if you set ducking to a background music, this will increase the audio when there is no voiceover. But if there is a voiceover this will decrease the audio of the music. This is so cool and useful. Now if you select the project you wanna rename, and then tap on the title. You can rename the project whatever you like. This is very useful if you are working with so many projects, and this will make you organized, and easy to find projects. And then if I tap on this icon you can make a duplicate of your project. So if you edit this file and mess up, you can still go back and edit it without any problem. You can start a project by taping on the wand button. And then you can set the name you like. Now select the files you will be using in the project. Now select the theme on the project. You can also select none. Then set a title. I'm not adding it. And select the music you wanna add. And then if you tap on next. You will be on the project with a basic edit. This is very useful to make simple projects. Or get started with a project. If you tap on the store button. You will be in asset store of kind master. In here you can download third-party effects, filters, stickers, and fonts. This is very useful. If you want to set a different theme, or if you are getting bored, try some of this out. Most of them are free also. If you want to export 1080p videos on a 720p phone, you want to tap on settings, then device capability information, and then tap on the three dots and select high resolution. I have made a video about that. You can check that above, or in the description box. And then if you go back, and scroll down, now advanced in experimental settings. And select unlimited layer mode. This will give more flexibility on the layer. And you can also enable. Allow export frame rates higher than 30 FPS. Now you can also export 60 FPS videos also. Now go back. You can change the locations of files here, if you want to work with them again. And make sure that default pan and zoom mode for photo clip is set to fit screen or fill screen. So that's it for this video, here is a kind master playlist, feel free to check that out. And don't forget to like share and subscribe, see you soon.